All right, hey, how's it going, everybody? Sorry about that. Uh, video seemed to cut off on us, uh, so we're going to uh, keep going here. So let me go back to where we were. Uh, we had just finished talking about this pattern increasing, uh, and we talked about how the digits, and I don't know if you heard that in the last video, uh, that the digits here in the ones column also repeat. So we know that all of these terms inside this sequence are odd, that the terms inside the sequence are always decreasing because it told us to decrease. And another observation is that all of the terms in the ones column repeat. So five, one, seven, three, nine. Five, one, seven, three, nine. And they just keep on repeating. So let's take a look at the work you're gonna have to do today. Uh, you're, this is going to be similar throughout all of the first, I think, um, how many problems did it, was it, uh, 16 first problems all are exactly like these two that we're going to do, and then the rest of the problems that you have, there's, uh, I think there's five word problems, and there's one multiple choice. So, when we extend the pattern by four, then write an observation. So let's take a look at this. Our pattern is going to start at eight. So let me get out a writing tool here. Let's pick a color. Let's go. I like the orange. So if our pattern starts at eight, and the rule is we're adding by seven, so then all I have to do is add seven to each number. So what's eight plus seven? Fifteen. And then if I add five more, I get to twenty-two. And if I add five more, I get to twenty-nine. And if I add five more, I get to 36, all right? An observation I can have about this is that every other problem here is odd or even. Odd, odd, even, odd, even. I'm sorry. Even, odd, even, odd, even. Eight is even. 15 is odd. 22 is even. 29 is odd. 36 is even, so the very next number I would have was odd. So an observation I could have is that the the as this extends, the terms alternate between even and odd. Let's look at this one. We know that our pattern is going to start at 90, that we're subtracting 10. That's the rule. So from 90, I just have to subtract 10. 80, 70, 60. 50, and that gets me to the very end. And now what is an observation I can have about all of these terms? The terms are the numbers that are within the sequence. So what is an observation I can have about all of the terms? Yeah, so that's right. They all end in zero. Zero, 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 zero. And that could be my observation that I will write in my answer. 15, 22, 29, 36, we had that right. The terms alternate odd and even, we did that one right. And this one, we subtracted tens, we got all the right, and they all end in zero in the ones place. And that's all you're gonna be doing for today's work. If we look at the uh, Google form, you're gonna see that the questions that you have today do exactly that. Here's the rule, add by nine, tell me the pattern. In the answer box, you're going to have to just write the actual numbers. You're not going to type, like, if the number was 3, you're not going to write T-H-R-E-E. -E. You're going to write the number 3, comma, space, the next number. And you're going to do that for each of these. So it's going to be a number, comma, the space button, another number, comma, space button. And you have to fill in all four digits. Then you're going to have to write an observation about the pattern. It can be in complete sentences. Remember, just like other Google Forms, if you get it wrong, I always go back and regrade it and send you that email with your grades. Uh, so keep a lookout for that as they come in. I'll, I, I try to do it a couple times throughout the day so you get that instant feedback and you know what you got right because it's going to tell you maybe that you got it wrong, but you know you didn't get it right. So you don't need to send me an email saying that you got it wrong, even though you know you got it right. Just like I did in all of the last couple Google Forms, I'll email back, you that, email back that grade to you so you'll know what you have done. So you have, I said, like 16 of these problems. They're broken up into two sections. You have a couple word problems, all right? 
Um, as you do the word problems, you're going to answer those word problems out. Um, and then that's going to be it for today. Uh, so make sure that you keep up with all the science work that Ms. Davis is posting because I know she's putting a lot of work into that project. Um, so make sure you're doing all that. Uh, keep up with all your language arts work uh, for Ms. Keo. Make sure you're keeping up with all the math work for me. You're going back and you're checking any past work that you haven't gotten done. Get that all done. Like I said, we have a quiz on Friday. Uh, tomorrow we'll do uh, a couple uh, Google Meets just like we did. So keep a lookout tomorrow. Uh, for when I post those times and just like I did in the past, I'll make those links active about five minutes prior to the Google Meet. So if you have any questions, please, please feel free to jump in. Remember for the Google Meets, when you come in, please mute your mic. Um, if you're coming in and there's like four, there's a couple kids already in there, mute your mic. So it cuts down on um, all the background noise. And then Miss Davis, Miss Key or I will tell you to unmute your mic and then you can ask your questions. Um, if you want to stick around, feel, please feel free tomorrow to stick around during the uh, once we answer your question. Just make sure that you mute your mic after you're done, but we'll remind you that of tomorrow. And other than that, good luck, everybody. Uh, if you have any questions, like I said, email me, and I'll be hopefully seeing you tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Bye.